Hi there, my name is Todd and I'm from toddstechtips.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to sync external audio automatically in Final Cut Pro 10. It's rather easy and all you need is a separate audio source as well as your normal video footage with the inbuilt camera microphone or whatever microphone you're using with your camera. I'm using a Zoom H1 and a Canon 5D Mark II for this demonstration and all I've done so far is just imported my assets into my project file. So I've got two files here. One is an audio clip and one is a video clip. I'll preview both so you can hear. It's a bit quiet. But that corresponds not exact to the video. I always start the video first and then start the recording second. So I'm just all you have to do is just select them both, right click, and click synchronize clips. This will then make a new clip um, with the name of the video file with synchronized clip afterwards. It will take a little while to analyze the video and the audio, but usually it will sync it up in no time. And drag it down into your time within your video. And next here, if we click on the audio tab, you'll notice that there are two, um, two channel configurations here. One is called storyline and one is connected. Connected is the external source. So I'm just going to go and deselect storyline so you can hear what happens. Now that is using the Zoom H1's microphone with the lavalier connected. That's the external source. Now if I um, de-check de that and click storyboard, storyline. automatically take good photos. That certainly does help. That's using the Canon 5D Mark II's inbuilt microphone. Again, so you just want to select that one and make sure that works, and it works fine. You can then play around with configuring the levels, and it will only configure that one that is selected and turned on. You can, of course, change it from mono to stereo, from stereo to mono, whichever you want to go. Um, but it works fine. Then you can do whatever you want, change the clips around, and it will only make edits to that new clip. You can go and delete your um, imported assets there. But I always recommend keeping them organized and in the actual project file itself as well in case you want to make any changes um, to them and re-synchronize them up. So that's synchronizing clips um, with external audio sources in Final Cut Pro 10. Um, with Adobe Premiere Pro CC, this works pretty much the same way, but for older versions of Premiere Pro, you're going to run into troubles. You have to do it manually, and it's rather a pain. I'm sure you, you can get plugins to do it but I haven't found any that work just as well as Final Cut 10. Thanks again for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to thumb it up, uh, like it, and comment down below. Um, if you have any more videos you want done by me, or anything else you want answered, please don't forget to tell me that as well. Thanks again for watching, and have a nice day.